All right, so Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waka, Kwadash, Barkatha Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Barkatha Yashallah, Barkatha Yahweh. It's like you. Kahala, Kahala, Shalom, Shalom, Halawa, Halawaya. We're going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and were well, who are overseeing the construction of the tabernacle of David, more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Yakim, while Akwaf scattered abroad, and Shalom to the sincere believers. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble, such as such as Slucky. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. I want to harp on the fact that it says, and there should be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Meaning what? The scripture is um, describing a time like no other in history, man. A time that's going to uh, uh, be far beyond the quote-unquote black plague, the bubonic plague, far beyond the um, Spanish influenza, far beyond 9-11, far beyond anything that's ever happened. Uh, on, on in the, the history of the planet Earth, man. Far beyond anything, man. Which brings me... I want to go and see what kind of words we got. Of trouble. Strong's H, 6869. Tsara. Tsara. It says straits, distress, trouble. And we know straits is a position... Uh, it's like a position... Of difficulty. This is going to be a time of great difficulty, such as Strong's Age 1471. Goy. Goy. Basically, going into nations. But the point is made, man. And the reason why I start off with this scripture, and um, I'm going to grab another scripture. Slucky, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Second asterisk. Let's go to second asterisk five. So lucky, so lucky. I'm just gonna just grab a second so for that. Second Ezra 
to the second Ezra 16 and 17, it says, Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? It says, the beginning of sorrows and great mourning. And I want, to, I want you to pay attention to the, um, the words, that, the adjectives that are used to describe. It says, the beginning of sorrows and what great mourning. So let's, leave, let's get that word great. Great. It says, of an extent, amount, or intensity considerably above the normal or average. Of ability, quality, or eminence considerably above the normal or average, man. So the scriptures is describing what? A time of above average or abnormal mornings, the beginning of famine and abnormal death, the beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in the fear of the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these these evils shall come? So we're fastly approaching a time that's never like never been seen before in the history of the quote unquote human race, man. And the reason why I start off with these two scriptures, that's for the whole point of the lesson, man. We're one week in to as today, um, January eighth. We're one week in to the so called New Year. And ain't nothing getting better. Everything is getting worse. Stuff is happening back to back. Stuff is getting closer and closer. You know what I'm saying? Everything is becoming more intense, more uh, um, austere, more uh, um. The best word I could do to describe is intense, man. It's a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff went down just in one week into the so-called New Year with no sign of anything getting better. So this is from January first. It says ten things that would be more expensive in 2021. It says one thing is for sure, twenty twenty two is going to cost you, and that's crazy, because what through the spirit and prior to how about Shemuel Shai, the apostle knows the great millstone have been prophesying these things for for decades, man. Inflation followed by hyperinflation, man, where where the the price of um goods is gonna be um astronomical, man. It's gonna be so high that it's not even gonna make sense for somebody to even spend their money buying this stuff. It says one thing is for sure, twenty twenty two is going to cost you. Between inflation and ongoing supply chains, which have still yet to be resolved, prices are rising on consumer goods nearly across the board, man. And it says, I really don't think there's any way to escape. It says Julian Ramhall, a consumer analysis with deals new with dealnews.com. But that doesn't mean you can't shop smarter for things you need and want. Here's a list of some of the major items that will cost more in the year ahead and what you can do about it now, man. Number one on the list, housing. A place to live, a place to lay your head, a place to, um, a, 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 a quote-unquote place of comfort, a place of refuge, man. It's going to cost you more. It says, for some, buying a house has been one of the pandemic's greatest challenges, even as mortgage rates hit record low. And that's crazy, man. They're basically telling you that you can it's cheap it's is <laughs> you can get a house for cheaper, but it's gonna cost you more. It says um, cause what the property values, even though mortgages are going up, getting lower property values, property values are quote unquote going up. And not only that, man, the um you know people are there's not much money, man. Uh due due to the great resignation where a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, quit their jobs, man. Everybody's hiring, man. Nobody wants to work, man. Unfortunately, 2022 could be another year of new highs as home prices continue to um, appreciate two to three times faster than a year ago. It says an expected increase in mortgage rates next year will present further challenges. I'm going to continue on. It says number two on the list is food, subsidies. Going to the grocery store is going to start eating away at your budget very quickly. It's not just staples like eggs, meat, and milk. That are getting more expensive. Coca Cola and Pepsi Co also announced prices increase thanks to more supply chain and labor problems because of what? Whenever it costs more for um, a company to create a product or to do business, they just offload the increase in price onto the consumer. You want to know why it costs, um, I guess, a dollar and some cents for some eggs? Because they, um, the companies that package and 
you know, um, take care of the chickens. They put their, their profit margin and their labor costs and they pass it on to you. Clothing. We're going to just heating costs. Uh, I think the uh, Elder Yashawamba went into that, man. The, uh, and not only Elder Yashawamba, Elder, Elder Ariella. It's going to cost the uh, energy, like it says right here, U.S. Energy Information Administration. Gas, dining out, again, food, cars, computers, electronics, furniture, and 10 medical care. Essentially, everything that's central to life is going to cost you more. In two, 2022, this is what they're predicting, man. Clothes, uh, something to put on your back, food, something to put you in your stomach, and everything else that basically that it is quote unquote necessary to make it here in Babylon the Great. It's going to cost you more in 2022. Which brings me to Matthew 24. Better, better scripture. Gonna go to the book of Haggai. Haggai 2. This is Haggai 1 and 5. Now therefore thus saith Yahweh Bashimi Ashah of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have so much and and bring in little, ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is no warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with hoes, man. And according to his article in 2022, that bag of hoes is going to get bigger. We're coming to a time of hyperinflation, right, where the price of, the price of bread it's gonna go from a dollar and some some odd cents to close to three dollars, and that's for the off brand. I'm gonna move on to the next article. It says the familiar disease, daily news updates from January first. It says, what to know today about the familiar disease, Washington State in the world, and I wanted to go get a couple places out of this it says the u.s began its third year of the pandemic saturday since among canceled or downsized new year's eve festivities in major cities man Atlanta canceled its new year's eve celebration amid a wave of new cases but new york held a much smaller celebration of just fifteen thousand. in canada as multiple provinces reported surges in cases quebec officials announced they would impose a nighttime curfew again going into what the murph of the murph of the land being gone. People people have it in their brains for some reason that if you get the jab or if everybody gets the jab, this the the, the familiar disease is just gonna go away. People just have this idea that we're going to we're some while, some way we're just gonna go back to normal. If we just band together and come together as a human race and beat the familiar disease, everything's gonna go back to normal. There's no going back to normal. This is the, your life now. Putting on a mask, getting a, uh, uh, getting juiced up, and basically having all your rights, quote-unquote rights, being taken from you day by day. Get used to it, man. There's uh, something else I wanted to get out of here. Here we go. This is what I wanted to get, man says one in three Americans say violence against government can be justified, <laughs> citing fears of political schism uh, pandemic, man. And I'm, we're not going to just go into it. That's enough, man. Like it says, it says one in three Americans say violence against government can be justified, citing fears of political schism pandemic, man. Meaning what, man? That that spirit of sedition is still alive, alive and well here in Babylon the Great, man. People, are, people have had enough, man. People are gonna, people are eventually gonna rise up, man. The boil, the pot, is starting to boil, man. And it's gonna be um, soon when it starts to overflow, cause people are, people are tired of the the back and forth, the the merry-go-round, the loop-de-loop, 
the boomerang effect, man. People are tired of um, the misinformation. People are waking up and smelling the proverbial coffee, man. That Babylon the Great is just a bunch of bullshit. Moving on. Says 10 things you need to know today. January 2, 2022. Um, I wanted to get this. Number three, it says, as Omarion surges, some U.S. colleges return to remote instruction. Students at more than 70 American colleges and universities won't be resuming in-person classes after this year's winter's break due to the ongoing spike in Omarion. Omarion. And Pete, the universities, man, some universities like Harvard, Syracuse, University of Chicago are um, delaying students' return to campus. Others like Michigan State, George Washington are allowing students back on campus, but moving all classes online. And these are prestigious universities, man. So these prestigious universities that are that have the most government funding, um, the most funding from quote unquote uh, alum, alumnus or however you say it. Uh, these quote unquote prestigious universities are taking these quote unquote preventive preventative measures due to the Marion. All these other schools that are gonna follow straight or uh, follow suit, man. Leading to what, man? Everybody, we're, like I said, there's no going back to normal. This is the new normal. You get out, you get on punishment. Get off punishment for a couple weeks. Get right back on punishment. There's no, there, there is no more moving about this country how you want to. It's going to be all according to what, you know, the familiar disease. And that's why Revelation 13 is so important at this point. Because Revelation 13 and 16, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And they're already talking about that now with the what? The digital familiar disease passport. They're making it implantable, uh, an implantable microchip, man. And that's all a part of that. And he causes. They had to have something to, um, what's it, um, a means to justify an end. There has to be something that they can present to the, the sheep of Babylon the Great to get them to just go along with it, man. And it's going to be what? This disease, the, not only this disease, but all the other pestilences that are out there, man. The pestilences and then what? The the um the need to plug a hole in the failing economy. Because when if that's a, a good sign of a, a failing economy is inflation, man. That's you see it all throughout history, man. That's what happened in Rome, man. They when the currency was uh I think it was called the denario or whatever the, the Roman currency was, when the currency was on um, being devalued, inflation came in. Then hyperinflation. Then what? They had to they had to um it caused problems in the um the Roman Empire, man, was one of the reasons why the Roman Empire uh failed. And that's what we're seeing the same thing going on here, man. Inflation is a it's a it's like a a symptom of a failing economy. I think I wanted something else. <laughs> Number six, it says bioengineer replaces GMO on food labels. They're just coming out with it. Okay, here one. This one I'm good. Number eight, at least seven injured and three still missing after Colorado Colorado fire destroys almost a thousand homes. Man, judgment. So already, just within two days of two days worth of articles, we see judgment going out. The various means, man. The pestilence, known as a familiar disease, this Colorado fire. You know what I'm saying? We see that the government is is, is clamping down, man. That Revelation 12 and 12 is coming in full effect. Just in two days worth of articles. Um, is this for? No, that's for the first. That was the second. This is links the third. Says five things to know for January third. I 
thing. What is this? What is this? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to get what I wanted. Number four, Ukraine. It says President Joe Biden and Ukrainian President uh, Vladimir Zelensky spoke on a call yesterday to discuss the diplomatic relationship and the looming threat of further aggression by Russia towards its neighbor. And it's, it's mind-boggling that even after <laughs> after everything that's going on, the state of the world, not even mind-boggling, it makes sense to me, but the state of the world, the state of America, America just won't back off, man. America just has this, this, this need and this un, unmitigated gall to just always poke their nose in things that have nothing to do with them. And that's because why? Babylon, the scriptures call this place Babylon the Great, man. The the whore that sitteth upon the, the beast, man. That rise the beast, man. Biden told Zelensky that the U.S. will respond decisively if Russia further invades Ukraine, man. Basically what, man? The smoke talk is still going on, man. Between two major players in, in the... Um, between two major players of biblical prophecy, man. Magog, uh, Gog and Magog, and Babylon the Great, man. Smoke talk is still going on between them two. And a lot of people have this idea and this um, this theory that America is just all smoke and mirrors. But no, man. The most high um, said in his word, man, he would, he would make them to think an evil thought, man. And that evil thought is going to translate into action. As many as 100,000 Russian troops remain at Ukrainian border despite warnings from Biden and U European leaders. And U.S. intelligence findings have estimated that Russia could begin a military offensive in Ukraine as, early, as soon as early 22. So this could be, very well be the, the year that World War III breaks out. Biden and Russian President Vladimir Vladimir Putin held a call last week during which Biden said he told Putin there would be a heavy price to pay if Russia invades, which include intense economic sanctions. Wow. And it's coming to a point, man, where, um, like the scriptures say, that the weak say that I am strong. I think, says, I think that's Habakkuk and Joel. I'll get it in Joel. Joel 2. No, it's on three. Joel three and nine says, "Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, prepare war, man. What is preparation? The the um, actions you take before doing something. Prepare war. That's all. Everything you see right now: the smoke talk going back and forth, the 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 war games, the testing the missiles, the the moving of troops, putting them in um uh, uh um." Position, strate strategic position, all that. That's a, that's the preparations of war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. It says, let the weak say, I am strong. All these um, nations, European nations that historically and, and generally wouldn't say, wouldn't even come up against America, wouldn't even, you know what I'm saying, speak out against anything going on in America. Now it's just basically a big fuck you, man. Nobody's scared of the big bad wolf anymore. Everybody has the same type of nuclear capabilities, if not uh, um, better, a better nuclear arsenal than America has. So that's from January 3rd. I think this is January 4th. It says 10 things you need to know today, January 4th. It says U.S. new familiar disease cases hit a single day record of over 1 million. Hey, man, that's 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 astronomical. What did the scriptures say? Great, a great time of mourning. Let's get it. Let's go back to it, what the scripture said. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings. And we looked into the word great and it means basically above average man the beginning of famine and great death man that's that's above average you saw the article just said uh the cases hit a single day record of over one million 
Since new familiar disease infections jumped to a record of a million, blah, 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 on Monday, according to John Hopkins University data, since the surge also has come as a highly infectious Omarion continues to tear across the country, man. And there's no, it's, it's no, again, man, it's, there's no uh, bright side to this. There's no turning it around, man. Since the F FDA authorizes Pfizer booster for children ages 12 to 15. So they're coming for your kids, man. They, hey, they're coming for everything, man. Your kids, your livelihood, your quote-unquote human rights, man. Your kids, your livelihood, your quote-unquote human rights, your food. Everything, man. They're coming. They're coming after you, man. The Babylon the Great, man. Through the spirit that the Lord has put up, put upon this place, man. Says so schools face chaos as classes resume during the Marion surge, man. Flight cancellations, and then. Here we go. It says judge judge blocks Navy from punishing seals for de declining vaccine, man. As as one as one would would think, you should do, man, because the Navy seals that's one of the most, um, a highly decorated and highly trained, um, I guess groups, of the military, man. You on if you kick all them out, I mean, like that's like putting your star players on the bench before before the championship game, man. So you just see, man, the, the spirit, a spirit of, um, hey, man, like the scriptures say, man, we, this is the beginning. This right here is the beginning. And you can tell, man, you can smell it in the air. You can, you can just, you can tell that what the stage has been set, man. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, man. And us that are in the know, the men of the Lord, man, the, the hopeful elect, man, we see these things, man. We praise the Lord, man. We wish that it hurries up, man. But a lot of people, uh, um, they see these things, man, and they worry, man. They shit themselves, man. They 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 um they get all depressed and down, man. They uh, uh it, it it totally bugs them out because why wow, they don't understand that all these things must happen. Matthew 24 and 7 says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, both physically, uh, um, uh, monetarily, uh, ideo um, through their different uh, ideologies, man. It's all types. Of, it's, it's a war being fought on all fronts, man. And there shall be famines. Check. Pestilences. Check. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Check. In diverse places. But all these are the beginning of sorrows, man. And that's why the scripture said, what, in Daniel 12, a time that has never been seen on earth, man. Because if all this is just the beginning, imagine the middle and then the end. Imagine having to live through all that. Continuing on, this is from January 5. Five things to know for January the 5th. And it says here in the Virginia snow, man. It says hundreds of motorists were trapped for hours, in some cases an entire day, along a 50-mile stretch of I-95 in Virginia after parts of the highway were closed due to heavy snow on Monday morning. And what's um, interesting about this is that Virginia is a place that gets snow. They get snow every year. It's nothing It's nothing new. So for something like this to happen, man, either some, they got more snow than expected, the roads weren't um, being kept up as they should, Something something happened. There was a mishap somewhere for this to, to happen to where people are stranded <laughs> on a highway for um for on on a highway for what it says for hours and or an entire day, man. Can you imagine that being stranded in your car on a highway for a day? A whole day. It says a series of disabled trucks along the route made the situation even worse. People stuck in a massive backup described rationing heat in their cars and trading much-needed food as the hours tickled by and night set in. And that's so important, man. Because we, a lot of times when you look at some of these articles and things that are going on worldwide, man, 
all that stuff is just like a, a precursor, a prelude to what's going to hit, man, on a more massive scale, man. You think just being stuck in your car for a day and ra having a ration heat and, and trading food, that's just a precursor for the, the bigger overall famine that's going to hit this place, man. We already what, went into an article that said it's going to cost more in 2022 to heat your home. So what, what are people going to do, man? People are going to probably start trying to do the whole roommate thing. Uh, um, people are going to probably start trying to do the whole um, build a fire thing again, candles, all that other bullshit. It's probably going to lead to people burning down their houses. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's always a cause and effect. But I just wanted to get that because of the fact that well, it just shows it just shows one the power of the most high. And then two, again, like I said, that's a glimpse into the future, man. So let me get second interest fifteen and Oh, this is 16. Let me go back. Second is just 15. Let me do that. Do this real quick. Let's lock it. Second is just 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them. Well, let me, let me, let me go. Second is just 15 and 18. It says, For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of what? The lack of bread and for great. That word great again, tribulation, man. And this is just the beginning. We're in the beginning stages, man. And the scriptures are describing a time that we've never seen before, man. And a lot of people are just not prepared, man. Because one, a lot of people are just marshmallowy, marshmallowy in spirit and stature, physically, uh, mentally, emotionally, or you're just marshmallowy, marshmallowy. And then two, the spirit of the Lord is not dealing with you. And that's where Jeremiah 15 comes into play, man, because, hey, man, a lot of you people, man, you're going to be with, looking for answers. And the only answer we're gonna have for you is just, you know, what I'm saying, just roll over, <laughs> roll over, and roll over, and, and and just die, man. I wanted, I wanted to get something. Oh, cool. I know what I wanted to get out of here. Let me pull it back up so I don't forget. There we go. It's going back to. So we did January 5, Virginia Solid, January 6th. Okay, so January 6th, man. What? It says one year after the January 6th Capitol riot. Here's where Justice Department and House Investigation stand, man. So they're keeping their, I guess, um, what's the word? Um, I guess memorializing that day now. January 6th is something we're going to be talking about. That Capitol riot thing is going to be something we talk about every year, like, Quote unquote 9 11. It says key points. One year has passed since then President Donald Trump supporters stormed the Capitol and temporarily halted the transfer of power to Joe Biden. The riot also has promoted a criminal investigation by the Justice Department, a House Select Committee probe, and legislation pushed by Democrats, all of which are ongoing. Democrats aim to shine as much light as they can on the riot. And Trump's rolling it during events at the Capitol on Thursday, man. And if you want to shine light, just tell the truth, man. Just tell the truth how you set it up, man. Every Nobody believes that bullshit anymore, man. You got to come harder. Come harder with the lies, Esau. Nobody believes Nobody believes that just that was just happenstance, man. Everybody knows it was staged. And not only that, man, they're trying to... Uh, like they do here in Babylon the Great, they're trying to sensationalize it and pump it up to be something that it wasn't, man. Like... like <laughs> Like a hundred people died or or some bullshit like that. Like they like they tore the place down and destroyed some shit, man. Them people didn't do nothing. Like and here's the point: it says one year has passed since the deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol. Who not who died? Only I think from my understanding, only like one person or two, three people died max. It says when a violent mob of then President Donald Trump supporters 
forced Congress into hiding and temporarily halted the transfer of power to President Joe Biden. Since the invasion from the initial breach of the outer security perimeter to the moment. And that was, bro, they let them in. It was its own camera, man. We saw the videos. The building was finally deemed secure, lasted about seven hours. But its impact is still reverberating, especially in Washington, where political battles stemming from the riot have deepened the already stark um, partisan divisions on Capitol Hill, that have had, which existed way before this Capitol riot. Again, that goes into what I said, man. They try to sensationalize everything. And well, I just focus on that, man. Because what, man? It just shows that the spirit of sedition on this place is still alive and well. It says, but its impact is still reverberating, man. That means what, man? It's hey. It's clear, it's going straight to the point, man. So now I'll grab that second edge of 15. And 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and air destruction draw off nine. I mean, it's near, man. It's coming close, man. It's impending. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. And it says, A man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. Showing you what, man from the article that the spirit of sedition is still heavy upon this place, man. And it's not even just through that whole January 6th thing, man. The spirit of sedition is being uh, um, stirred up because of this whole familiar disease thing, man. People are not going for the for the, the the consistent jabs, man. People are not going for the whole wear a mask. People are not going for the whole um, the the effect. Like you're trying to take the livelihood away from them because they don't have a jab. People are not going for it, man. And because people are not going for it here in America, man, people, uh, uh, um, America has a history of what? Uprising, man, civil wars, insurrections, all that, man. When people get fed up with the government or people get fed up with the people in power here in America, Babylon the Great, there has been a history of what? Rebellion. And it's all going to happen again in the future. Now, we skipped January 7th, but um, this is from January 8th. It says, updated at 9.15 p.m. It says, at least seven people are dead and three missing after a boater crashes on tourist boats in Brazil, man. At least seven people were killed after a massive rock fell on top of several tourist boats in Brazil. And that's that's crazy, man. This, that's, it just shows you the, the, the swift and uh, um, unexpected judgments of the Lord, man. Imagine you just on vacation, thinking you're having a good time. People uh, plan this stuff for you for months ahead, even sometimes years ahead. Spend all this money, um, and then moments before everybody's having a great time, laughing. You play, you're playing your favorite music. You know what I'm saying? You probably had a good meal. The next thing you know, a, a fucking boulder just drops on your head, man. And that's just how Yahweh Bashimi Asha works, man. He gets you. He gets you at the, the that moment when you're supposed to be at your highest. Living your life, man. Living it up. He gets you, man. And that's what's so beautiful. I mentioned it today at Count, man. That's what's so beautiful about this whole, the the prophecy of the nuclear destruction. Because people, the unbelievers, you're going to have to, you're going to see it, man. You're going to see it. You're going to feel it. You're going to hear the signs going off. You're going to hear the, the um, people coming on the news, declaring a, a state of national emergency, uh, you got an hour hour to live. You got an hour left to live. Uh, the missiles are are are, are going to strike here and here and here. You're gonna you're gonna wait that time. You're gonna see it up in the air. You're gonna see it coming close. You're gonna see the explosion. And you're gonna be faced with the out reality that everything you ever thought was a lie and that the prophets of the Lord were right, man. You're gonna have to become face to face that with that reality, and that's how Yahweh Bashim Asha works, man. Sometimes he'll he'll crush your spirit and then crush you physically, man. To let you know that he's all powerful, man. To let you know that he is, uh, um, he is, he's he's sovereign, man. And that's that, again, that's crazy, man. That's that that death by pain that the scriptures talk about in Second Ezra nine, man. Because you're gonna you're gonna be uh, um, emotionally and, and mentally in pain before that physical pain comes, man. And I don't need, I can't even tell you which one is worse, man. Having your having like everything, having like your spirit crushed. Or being physically crushed, man. <laughs> Who 
Who knows, man? But it's crazy because that's what's going to happen to you unbelievers and you scoffers, man. You're going to experience both, man. Your spirit's going to be crushed here and you're going to be physically destroyed by nuclear destruction, man. All because of unbelief. So that pretty much will wrap it up, man. I just wanted to grab a couple, just a couple articles, man. And who knows, man? I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of other stuff happened that I didn't even, I didn't even talk about. But just that's just one week, man. One week into the so-called New Year, we see mass judgment, uh, mass judgment, and uh, uh, um, predictions of 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 austere life in 2022. Predictions of uh, uh you know, what I'm saying the the familiar disease is just ramping up, man. Everything is getting, everything is ramping up. There is no sign of turning away, man. So you people have one option, man. Either turn to your house by me outside or be destroyed, man. Because there's no there's no turning back at this point, man. We are in the beginning of the return of your house by So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. For Yahweh Bashim Shai and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh Bashim Shai should bring every work into judgment for every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. With that being said, Hallelujah.